It all began in the Bay of Florianopolis. On the island of Ratones Grande stands one of Brazil's oldest solar power plants, built by Ricardo Huta. His plant supplies the historical fortress with electricity. The professor of renewable energy installed it 15 years ago. What has happened since then? Well, it's developed a lot. Originally, most of the installations were like this, with batteries for isolated systems where the grid doesn't come. Uh, and now it's starting to pick up more in the grid connected areas. But these standalone systems, they, they are still very important for rural areas, for rural electrification, where you don't have access to the utility grid. Florianopolis on the Atlantic Ocean is a city with 500,000 residents, almost all of whom travel by car. It's grown considerably in the past few years, and more than anything, it gets plenty of sunlight. And that's why Brazil's largest photovoltaic plant is being set up here. The one megawatt rooftop system will crown the building of the power generation company Eletrosol. Part of it has already been installed, and tours for school children are being conducted twice a week. Here on the roof, there are flat silicon panels. Silicon is a material you find in stones. The sun shines on them, and the light is converted into electrical power. In Brazil, it's still a matter of informing people about solar energy. The school children here are experiencing it firsthand. Nine such demonstration plants are currently being built on the premises. Starting in August, they'll be generating 550 kilowatts of solar power, and the rooftop units will produce another 450 kilowatts on top, a megawatt in all. Something completely new is being created here, not just for us at Electrosul, but for all Brazil. We're building a solar plant on the grounds of a public corporation. That's never happened before. It'll be the first large-scale solar power plant in Brazil, and we're doing this in cooperation with the KFW. The KFW, Germany's development bank, is funding the project, not as a loan, but as a gift. They're plowing 2.8 million euros into it. Without that money, the project wouldn't be profitable for Electrosol. It would be too expensive compared to other energy sources. But that's changing. Prices are tumbling in the solar sector, and solar technology is becoming cheaper in Brazil as well. And the country needs power. Brazil's economy is currently growing by just 1%. But 1% growth requires a gigawatt of extra power, a thousand times what the planned solar plant in Florianopolis will generate. <laughs>